Women in Pelia have this one thing in common. There's still a lot of stuff I'm learning about. <laughs> I recently found out there's a lot of third party apps that can be used in Pelia to help your gameplay experience. I know the term third party app will throw a lot of people off. However, these aren't like mods or hacks, anything to add to the game. They're more tools you should add to your arsenal and they're just on a web browser. You just click them, pull them up, and then you could start doing things from there. Some of the things we've talked about in today's video has recently helped me. Since I asked my community, hey, what are some tools you guys use outside of Pelia for your Pelian experience? I got bombarded with a lot of things. Before we start going into what was recommended for this video, I'm gonna explain what a third party app is in an MMO so it doesn't scare a lot of you guys off because once again, this is a lot of y'all's first MMO. You have no idea about these things. So I have created a list here, just a quick short list of how these things can benefit you. But to sum up the list really quick before I even get into it, it's how to make the game easier. It, in a way so you don't have to use a lot of brain power that's the benefits of using these third-party tools and but i'm a big fan of not using my brain Ugh. a third-party app in an mmo is a software application created by a developer or a group of developers outside of the official development team these apps are designed to enhance the gameplay experience in various ways can help players in several ways number one enhanced navigation third-party apps often provide more detailed information about the game world including locations of quests npcs resources and other points of interest this can help players navigate more efficiently than what they're looking for more easily since there is no mini map in the game a third party map if you have two monitors put the map on one put the game on the other and you could just easily cruise around it, it has helped me tremendously number two quest assistance these maps often mark quest locations objectives and paths making it easy for players to complete quests without getting lost or missing important details i don't use it for that i like stumbling upon things organically however i know a lot of people have used quest assistance in games because they are just absolutely lost they have no idea where to go what to do so they quickly pull up an interactive map or some sort of guide and it'll tell them exactly where to go like Pelia wiki Pelia wiki is technically a third-party app or it's a website that so many people flock to what i i go there occasionally when i'm trying to like catch up on lore and try to make sure everything pieces together but i don't use it for quest assistance however there, there is no shame in doing that three community contributions players can often contribute by adding their own tips and corrections creating more comprehensive and community driven resource a lot of these third party a lot of these third party apps are made by devout fans of a game so wow has a bunch of these Pelia has several that i recently found out about a good example of this is how people have been helping each other find chopper piles there was websites dedicated to chopper pile found here today number four additional features some third party maps often features not available in the game official maps such as the ability to track rare spawns view dungeons and maps or plan out routes for optimal resource gathering i know there's no dungeons in the game this is just more of like a generic this is what these are used for but hopefully fingers crossed we'll get something like that in the future like a, a mine very similar so i'm craving that dude i'm craving a mine we can go in and just fight monsters it's a type of cheese monsters we progress lower down the, i just want it number five optimal resource gathering some interactive maps provide tools to help players plan out routes like we stated in number four for optimal resource gathering ensuring they can efficiently collect the materials they need that is a little bit different than number four they sound very similar but there's there is some difference trust me so i asked my community hey what are some tools that you guys have used in Pelia that has helped your Pelian experience and i got a lot of responses to this i had no idea there was this many out there so i decided to pick around seven or eight and then I mess around with them a little bit. And then I've, I've come to really enjoy a lot. Everything we talk about in today's video, all links will be provided in the description down below. So you can go and you can click it, use these, favorite these, and add them to your arsenal. All right, you're going to need them. You don't really need them. I'm going to be real. You really don't really need them. These just help out a lot. You can be like me and not touch majority of these because you feel like it's cheesing through the game. However, I have come to use quite a bit of these. So the first one I want to talk about is from Marco. Marco actually provided three. He recommends the Pelia Garden Planner 
It helps you plan out your garden layout for buffs and profit. This is actually the reason why I made this video. We had a community member in my Discord start posting a bunch of crop layouts of the bok choy and rice saying they found the OP method of making a lot of money. And then on the side, it would say how much gold they made. And I thought that was so awesome. So I was like, hey, we, we could, I'm gonna make a video with this. And here we are today. You're welcome. The second one he recommends is another one I've been using. It's the Paleo Time for jumping into Maja Market Grove or Garden Upkeep. I'm very busy. However, the hot pot addiction is real. So while I'm scripting or I'm planning out content or I'm actually doing my other job, I have my Paleo Time up on my computer. So if it's around hot pot time, I will and then proceed to ignore life's responsibilities and play hot pot for a few minutes. So yeah, the Pelia time is definitely one of my favorites. The third he recommends is Pelia interactive map, best areas for finding specific resources. This is one of the interactive maps I was talking about. On these, you can track all sorts of resources, where to catch certain fish, at what times. This even has where the rummage pile was located that day. I have used this one to help me catch a few fish because sometimes I'm like, all right, I need to figure out where to catch this fish. And instead of using my brain, I could just put on the Pillion map and it just makes life so much easier for me. So I highly recommend the pillionmaps.com. Very beneficial, honestly, one of my favorites. It also helps you track quests and where you can find things for a quest. Once again, I don't recommend doing that to an extent, you do miss out a lot when you're doing that, but I understand that a lot of players like to use those things for quest assistance, so go right ahead. That's entirely on you. Red Hair has recommended to use the tool called Pelia Tracker. I enjoy this one. It's a daily gifts and weekly wants tracker. It brings up all the NPCs, everything they want, everything they crave that week, and you go and you bring them the stuff by the way, this also helps me decide who's extra bougie and Delilah likes gold bars. No idea why her and Madhu are having financial issues when I'm giving her a gold bar, but you know, that's just, that's just an observation. I'm not trying to say anything, but Delilah might be doing something that we don't know about and Madhu needs to stop sleeping in the <laughs> barn. Thorn has also said he uses the Pelia gift tracker linked, which is the one we just showed, but he also uses the rummage pile tracker, which I think is very beneficial to use the rummage pile tracker that one is just like you pull it up someone posted a picture found here today you go there you get the rummage pile it's fantastic it saves me a lot of time but once again you can be the kind of person that wants to actively go out there and find them that is perfectly fine that's usually how i am except for the rummage pile i'm gonna be real uh rummage pile isn't that big a deal to me because every time i get to it i just get fucking corn or something really silly so there's so I'm just like, you know what? Fine, Where, where's the rummage pile today? It's gonna be a waste of time. This is something that I've actually known about. This one is I've used quite a bit in the past. It's the Pelia Housing Planner. If you go into the Pelia Housing Planner, you can put together a blueprint of the house that you want. And on the right side, it actually comes out to all the resources that you're gonna need to create the house of your dreams. And that's just the base of the house. That's, that's for the harvest room, small rooms, medium, large rooms, bay windows, things like that. It really does help and save a lot of time so you know what to have when you go into this instead of okay so i have this what else do i need really saves a lot of time super beneficial and i highly recommend it the last one is from polly mcpuffin now these are awesome quite a few people in the community that use these matter of fact i'm going to try to link a community event that we have going on that is being put together by maleficent elf maleficent is putting together a hunting party and she's using one of these apps the Pelia party app is awesome there you can host your own type of party whether it's a cooking party it's a hunting party it's a fishing party it's a party party everyone have fun at the party party it is i think very beneficial for communities in the game to use this because it's something that should be in the game already but it's not so we have to use third-party apps singularity six you really you really need to get on the ball on this one you really need, <laughs> you need to do something and she also recommends one specifically for cake parties Clicking this link will take you to a sign-up sheet where you can then set up where you can host the party. And then from there, you could post that in the Discord where other people can then sign up and sign up for their specific role that they want to do. Really cool. It saves a lot of time. You don't really have to gather a lot of people because you know who's there, who's doing what role. It's very organized. It's, it's honestly fantastic. These apps and websites can definitely help you, especially the party apps and the planner apps, whether it's the garden planner 
or the house planner, they will help you out and you'll know exactly what you need each time you go into whatever you're doing. So for the house planner, for example, you know exactly how much wood can wood would chuck. No, you know how much wood and stone you need to get into a project and same with the garden planner. You know exactly how much time it's gonna take for the garden start to finish and how much money you're gonna make at the end of the day. The Pelia Party apps are perfect for communities that are looking to do things that should be implemented in the game already, but we have to rely on third party apps. It's whatever. Is there a third party app that you guys use? Is there something else that I don't know about? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to see it and try it out for myself. And while you're down there commenting, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload a video. But if you want to know the exact moment that I upload a video, because I will annoy the sh** out of you with pings, be sure to join the Discord. Discord is a happy and fun place. Everyone is very welcoming and just really cool, chill vibes, except for Brutal. Brutal is a sh** but he is my best friend. He's a moderator. He's super dope at what he does, and I appreciate him. And my entire mod team, by the way, shout out to you guys. You guys are fantastic. But if you're watching this right now, at this very moment, there is a chance that I'm streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash PerzivalGG. Definitely come in. Let's hang out. It is Twitch drop week. So if you want to get some Twitch drops, come hang out. Let me know what you thought about this video in chat. If you don't like me, let me know. Tell me why you don't like me. Is it my face? Do you hate my face? But the chat community is very welcoming. No one's a stranger. Come on in. Let's hang out. Other than that, that's the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.